going on YouTube BCD back with another quick video and today we're going to be talking about the PS5 Pro <laughs> and the one reason why you should be excited for a PS5 Pro in general. The biggest reason is for price drops <laughs> like literally price drops. Um, there is zero reason for you to be hyped for a PS5 Pro outside of legitimate savings. That is it. And I'm going to tell you why in a bit. But for for some reason, it's a hype train going around. People are loving it. People are even excited about the PS5 Pro simply for better storage capacity. I think that is a terrible way to upgrade your storage is to buy a new system. But some people are just in general happy for that simply because that is a a a, a pain for them as of now i'm going to tell you why you should be okay with your ps5 as of now and why the ps5 pro will do one thing and one thing only and that is help in the price wars and helping with actually pricing things correctly so um the reason why i say the ps5 pro won't matter as much is because we honestly haven't seen what the ps5 can do if you think we've seen what the PS5 can do, you're you're like super mistaken at this point. And I don't mean to come off a little hot hit or a, a little, with a little temper, but it just seems to me that they are cashing in on a lot of hype and thoughts around that this is worth it. Because in 2020, we are now in 2023. We have not had a game come out that really showcased the PS5. If you say God of War, I'm going to slap somebody. Because God of War was literally a PS4 game. There was nothing like significantly different from P God of War Ragnarok to God of War Ragnarok on PS5. Only thing was different was the $10 price increase. I mean, there was resolutions, there was these things, but honestly, that game was almost identical in a lot of ways. It, it wasn't even a big leap. Horizon Forbidden West, that one had, I, I could get with that, but that was more on the Gorilla Engine than anything. It was just that it was so well optimized that they could push resolution, and then they had to go back in and tinker with it and things like that. But we haven't seen what the PS5 can do. You hear me. I must repeat it multiple times. We have not seen what the PS5 can do. So please do not be hyped for a PS5 Pro. We don't even, like, the limitations of this thing, it usually takes about four to six years before you get the peak, or five years before you really get a peak of, like, the excellence of a system. We've been in here almost three almost three and we have not received a game worth even talking about that's a that's a big deal that makes it less of attractive situation for it to actually come out it's, it's so less attractive that i can't even deem the thought of people being hyped for a ps5 pro the only thing i can justify this even there even there being a hype train is price drops once the PS5 comes in the market, that's going to be the new $500 system, hopefully. And once that happens, we got a 340, 350, 299 PS4, PS5 disc list. And then we have a $400, maybe 450, probably 400. Um, we have a $400 PS5 Pro, I mean PS5. Those are the big deals. That is why you should be excited. But don't be excited to buy this thing, dude. It's not even worth it. Now, I get it. A year and a half from now, there's going to be a little bit more time. We might have some gains under our belt. But at the end of the day, I do not think the PS5 Pro will be the significant leap. I just don't. I don't feel like the technology is going to be there for it to be. And if it's in development now, the technology out now, it isn't. it doesn't deem a new piece of hardware outside of features that they did not have, like ray tracing. And believe it or not, a lot of people don't play in ray tracing. Believe it or not, people just want 60 FPS 4K with great graphics. People 
honestly don't care about ray tracing right now. That is not a selling point. That it's just it's fluff. It's fluff right now. So I don't know. I don't want to get too, uh, like I said, too passionate about a game system. But what I'm trying to say is that you should not be hyped for this. You should just be happy that you're going to get some type of price increase and decreases in these systems in this in this family. But outside of that, you ain't even seen what the PS5 can do. So I, I just want to I don't want to kill the hype, but you haven't seen what the PS5 can do. And they're already talking about trying to charge you for PS5 Pro. Make it make sense, Sony. I They don't make sense to me. Like, but, I mean, we have some confirmations. We have some articles. I'm going to show that a little bit. Um, but, ain't no point. Like I said, there really isn't any point. Now, let's take a look. Let me zoom in here and zoom in here. Okay. So what we got. So they were talking about the release windows. The PS4 released in uh, November 13th of 2013. The PS4 Pro released November 16th of 2016, three years later. PS5 released in uh, 2020. So you would think in 2023 that it would come out. Um... I really hope that that doesn't happen, but, um, but it could, it could come out in, uh, 2023. Honestly, you really don't even need those, that article. It didn't really talk about much, but just under the assumption that it's under development. So, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. I didn't want to make it long anyway. So overall you should be, and let me sum it up for you. You should be excited for price changes, price drops. You should not be excited for the PS5 Pro. Um, I understand people want to next and greatest, um, but at least let the stuff that's out that's supposed to be the greatest show you why it's the greatest because it hasn't. So that is my thought. That is my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, I want to hear if you guys have a way of justifying it or a, way, a reason why you think that would be the best move for Sony right now and for the consumer. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you enjoy the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I want to thank you for you know, watching the content and I will talk to you all in the next video. Peace.